forces. Hello, welcome back to Mass Effect 2 with Carmen Shepard, where the loudspeakers are way too loud. Anyway, as you can see, I actually got two new squad mates here. It's a, I bought this capacitor chest plate and the storm speed greaves and the visor last time and so I decided to put them on and I also changed uh, Shepard's armor color. I like to change up her armor color all the time and while I was when I came back I chose two new companions so that I could get different dialogue. I like the Cedia towns. They're prettier. They value their light. They don't have god awful neon everywhere like Ilium or the Citadel. Just the light of people living, moving from place to place. Just enough to know people live there. Yeah, they went they went hog wild with these loudspeaker announcements. It's like Whatever, Jesus. Complaining is pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. You can't keep me out. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. <coughs> Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. There's a Salarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, a crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Oh, do I really want to... Yeah, I think Shepard would want to know about this plague. Tell me more about this plague. It starts out as a cough, then you start coughing blood, and, well, then I shoot you. It affects multiple species, Turians, Salarians, Krogan, you name it. Only humans are immune, and Vorcha, if you count them. An airborne disease that takes down multiple races, can't let that spread. Hence the quarantine. I didn't think diseases could cross species barriers. Turians and Salarians can't even eat the same food. Right. Most people figure that it has to be synthetic. Somebody engineered it. And it either got loose, or they're testing it here. And seeing as how humans are immune to the plague and doing a fair bit of looting, a lot of people think humans made it. That's enough. Just let me help. I'll find a way to cure the plague. What does Shepard know about curing a plague? She's not a doctor. And is this, if I find a looter, I'll shoot a looter. I don't really like it, especially considering Shepard's going to be doing a whole lot of looting herself. <laughs> so I think we're just going to go this way. There's one of you and three of us. Are you really going to try arresting me? I'm not doing anything. Just say hi to my guys at the quarantine gate when they open fire on you. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. We're all human. The plague won't affect us. Let's do it. Yeah, well, you're not coming, Kasumi. And neither is Zaid. Instead, we're going to bring these guys. Um, tell you what, I think I want to put him over here. 
I should put him on my left side, I believe. The reason I want that team there, I want his pull and his incendiary armor. Ammo, I'm sorry. And I want her warp. And overload will be a little bit useful in the opening segments. I want to put Miranda on that, I think. Jacob, do I want to switch you out? No, I think I'm going to keep you on the uh, shotgun, even though it's uh, not terribly effective against armor. Still, I think I'm going to keep you on the shotgun. Oh, this cooldown is terrible. It's horrible. Eh. Alright. Hold the checkpoint. Open fire. Jacob. Are uh, you ready? Come on, Miranda. There we go. Here we go. I've got him. Can we get in? Taking heavy fire! Guess they just left the dead in the streets. Burning corpses. Must be trying to keep the plague from spreading. <laughs> See, the thing is... You're, you start out so far away from the enemy, and you need to get in close to make this tech armor work. But getting in close means taking lots of fire before you can get to a position that's close. I mean, a vanguard can close instantly with them. But then once the vanguard's there, it's like, oh great, great, I'm going to get shot to pieces now. The sentinel... On the other hand, once you get in close, I mean, you've got your tech armor that can blow up and affect the dudes. But getting in close is uh, problematic, as Morton would say. Then when you get to Mass Effect 3, the Vanguard is like, well, I can get in close. And once I get in close, I can blow up my armor, because <laughs> you can Nova the guys. Versus the Sentinel doesn't really need to get close, because you never need to blow up your armor. So the Sentinel can go back to being a caster class, like it was in Mass Effect 1.
Now, if we go through that door, go in there, we find a couple dead Turins and a log explaining how they got locked in and they died of the plague. But we're going to skip that. And guess what's going to happen to this guy? <laughs> Human. Should have guessed. <coughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> Humans didn't create this plague. Lies drip from your mouth. Like the blood from my source. The proof is there for all to see. <coughs> Your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <coughs> Yours and the wretched Borcha. I need to find Morden Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <coughs> I hope the Vorcha burn Morden and his clinic to the ground. <coughs> I hope you... I hope. Damn it! Damn you! Can't! I doubt he could have helped us anyway. Let's move. <laughs> yep, there goes Shepard the Looter. It's really, I didn't really want to say, if I find looters, I'll shoot them. It's kind of. Well, we'd have to shoot ourselves. And we could skip this log. It basically just says he got locked in here. He doesn't have the plague, but he does. And there he is. He's dead. So, how do I want to work this? I need to get in close. Moving to cover. Taking cover. Gear up. Taking cover. Can we get in there? No shield. go too bad that was pretty good that tech armor kept saving me there oh wait a minute just gotta get up here there's a little bit of money up here I want to get that No, they're not. There's plenty left. Don't worry, Jacob. We can kill some more people.
human. When we saw that door open, we thought those Turians had found us. Get to you in a second. First, I need to steal your money. All right. <laughs> Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. I need to find Morden Solis. Oh, yeah. Him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims. Offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them, too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morden's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morden's clinic. I'm gonna be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay. You're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Alright. I guess the least I can do to try to save your life is for giving me all that money, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you guys give me 6,000 credits, 6,100 if you conclude the Metagel. So, I figure I can help you out. <laughs> well, I think that's enough for this episode. We'll pick up this assault rifle upgrade here. This is valuable. Yeah, it's not that valuable. Why did you go over it? Why couldn't you just go around? I mean, seriously, you went over this thing. Jacob, get out of the way. I mean, why did you do that? You couldn't just go around? I mean, seriously, Jacob? Uh, anyway. Uh, that's enough for this episode. Next episode, we're going to make it to the clinic and then, then beyond. I don't know how far beyond, but we're going to be 
start now pretty close to the clinic they say it's on the other side of the district it's you know just through that door and then take a right <laughs> he says, it's not very far it's a whole lot of virtue between us and it and we'll take care of them in the next episode until next time have a nice day